Hello friends, welcome to On Academy. In this video, we will solve question number 11 to 15, exercise 11.6, percentage, class 7 maths, R.D. Sarma. So let's start the video. Question number 11. Out of an income of rupees 15,000, Najima spends rupees 10,200. What percent of her income does she save? Total income is equal to rupees 15,000. Spending is equal to rupees 10,200. We have to calculate percentage saving. So, first of all, we calculate total saving. Her saving is equal to rupees 15,000 minus rupees 10,200 is equal to rupees 4,800. Now, we have to calculate total saving is 4,800 and Total income is 15,000. Therefore, required percentage, required percent is equal to 4,800 upon 15,000 because she saves rupees 4,800 out of 15,000 is multiply by 100. 2, 0, 2, 0 cancel, 0, 0 cancel, 15, 1 ja 15, 15, 3 ja 45. 3, 0, 30, 15, 2, ja, 30 is equal to 32 percent. Got it? Next question. Question number 12. 45 percent of the students in a school are boys. If the total number of students in the school is 880, find the number of girls in the school. Percentage of girls, percentage of girls is equal to 100 minus 45 since 45 percent are boys, rest are girls is equal to 55 percent. Total number of students is given 880. Total number of students is equal to 880. We have to find the number of girls. Therefore, total number of girls is equal to 55 percent of 880 is equal to 55 upon 100 multiply by 880 okay 0 0 cancel 5 2 ja 10 11 5 ja 55 2 1 ja 2 and it will become 44 multiply it 11 4 ja 44 4 carry over 11 4 ja 44 plus 4 48 so total number of girls is equal to 484 okay Next question is, question number 13. Mr. Sidhana saves 28% of his income. If he saves rupees 840 per month, find his monthly income. Let monthly income, monthly income of Mr. Sidhana be X, be rupees X. Okay, here it is given, he saves 28% of his income. Therefore, his monthly saving is equal to 28 upon 100 multiply x. Okay. From question, his total saving is given as 840. It means 28 upon 100 multiply x is equal to 840. Therefore, x is equal to 840 multiply 100 divided by 28, 28, 1 ja 28, 28, 3 ja 84, 10 is equal to 30 multiply 100 is equal to 3000. Therefore, his monthly income is, his monthly income is equal to rupees 3000. Okay, got it? Next question is, in an examination, 8% of the students fail. What percent of the students pass? If 1650 students appeared in the examination, how many passed? Here you have to answer two questions. First question is, what percent of percentage of the students pass? So, percentage of students pass, percentage of students pass is equal to 100 minus 8% since 8% student fail. So, is equal to how much? Is equal to 92% students passed. Now, you have to calculate how many students passed. 
total if total number is 1650 okay so number of students passed is equal to number of students passed is equal to 92% of how much 1650 is equal to 92 upon 100 multiply by 1650 00 cancel 5 2 10 it will become 33 2 1 2 it will become 46 now multiply it 46 3 138 it carry 13 46 3 138 plus 13 151 so total number of students passed is equal to 1518 okay got it Next question is question number 15. In an examination, 90% of the candidates passed and 46 failed. How many candidates appeared? Okay, 90% passed. So, first of all, we will calculate percentage of candidates failed is equal to how much? Is equal to 100 since 90% passed. So, percentage of candidates failed is equal to 100 minus 90 is equal to 10%. Now, it is given failed number is 46. It means 10% is equivalent to 46. We have to calculate candidates appeared. Okay, na? So, let number of candidates appeared. Number of candidates appeared is equal to X. Okay. So, total number of candidates who failed, total number of candidates who failed is equal to 10% of X is equal to 10 upon 100 multiply X. And from question it is given that total number of candidates failed is equal to 46. It means 10 upon 100 multiply by x is equal to 46. Therefore, x is equal to 46 multiply 100 divided by 10, 0, 0 cancel is equal to 460. Therefore, total number of candidates who appeared is equal to 460. Got it? I hope you have enjoyed our videos. Do like and share our videos and subscribe our channel if you haven't. Thank you.